demo for a game that I have been looking forward to. Life. Life is a disease. A millennium ago, a supreme necromancer was on the verge of conquering the world. But you know what they say about best laid plans. Inevitably, heroes shall emerge. So, I was made dead. Again. But what does death really mean for somebody who has mastered it? Hmm? Boredom. An eternity to ponder my errors and how close I came to victory. I am a mortal. But when this world ends, even I will know oblivion. be given another chance to rise before it happens? Another chance to fulfill my ambition? Ah, it seems that fate has smiled after all. <laughs> Gotta say, that was really well done. Erratus, Lord of the Dead, is a hardcore tactical roguelike. This game is difficult and your minions will likely die, and don't think they are expendable just because they are already dead. Every fight is a challenge and resources are always limited. Enemies are strong and show no mercy towards their undead opponents. You will need to play smart and adjust your strategies for different encounters and enemy types. In short, be prepared to spend several hours mastering the game to achieve victory and bring death to the mortal lands. The game is still in alpha. Gameplay mechanics can and will be changed in the future. Let's turn some of this sound down. Definitely show subtitles. There's English. Generate initial squad at start. Thank you, Lisk. Here's the game on tutorial difficulty first. Okay, sure. Love the little watermark here. That's just always there. Okay. So we've got two miners, a zombie, and two skeletons. Okay. Unassuming strike, physical attack. There are three types of attacks, physical, magical, and stress. Both physical and magical attacks reduce the vigor health of the target. Stress attacks influences the sanity of the target. If it drops to zero, the target has a chance to die whenever it is hit with another stress attack. The more powerful the attack, the higher the chance of death. Interesting. Smoke shot. Target loses 10 accuracy. Excellent. Low levels of sanity can lead to insanity. A character suffering from insanity will manifest one of several possible negative effects, each detrimental in its own way. Enemies can run away from battle if they start their turn on the last position in the combat row. A character with low levels of sanity will have a higher chance of running away. If there is only one enemy remaining, the chance of him running away will increase each turn. Enemies that escape do not leave behind any items or parts. If Sanity drops to zero, the target has a chance to die. Shows them their place, moves forward to, and knocks them back. Smite the show-offs. Additional attack for each buff on the target. That's pretty cool. Shield banger stress attack. Yeah, let's do that. Nice. Insanity berserk. 50% chance to attack allies. Interesting. Let's make both of you insane. 
both of you are berserk. Very nice. Oh, the zombie has a fucking cannon. I thought he had a cleaver. But no, he's got a cannon. All right, then. Dragon's breath shot. Bam. Uh, unassuming strike. Hit this motherfucker. Good. Both of them are incompetent right now. It is always more fun being the villain, Hugh. I, I agree. Gives 10 armor until next action strikes back with 100% damage to the attacker. Yes, please. <laughs> I like what the miner said. Take that, you bony shit! Burn them. They take five damage. You strike him. And you strike him. Become part of the breathless tide. I really enjoy the voice actor for Eratas. They they did really well with, with their voice acting. Aw, oh, he fucking ran. It's an instant thing, My he just runs. Wow, alright then. One soul, some rags, a weapon, bones, blood, heart, and the ability to craft a Bride of Eratas. Which, that's tutorial, so... Uh, craft minions. New undead are available for crafting. Craft this minion from the body parts of your freshly slain enemies. Click on the portal to start the crafting process. Body parts are stored in the chest. I I like the look of it, Atas. Click on the wheel. There we go. A bride of Iratas. Fill. Craft. Uh, a design from my younger years. <laughs> Flames of love. Heart piercer. Overwatch. Whenever an enemy moves, deal 75% damage to it. You won't get him. Stress attack. Rose for a lady attacks all enemies for 125% damage, but it costs a soul. The bride gets 40 accuracy until the end of the fight. Very nice. Let's move all of you guys to the front. Uh, you... You actually need to be one back, so that you can get some more of these other attacks. Skeletons should definitely be... at least one of them should be in the front. What is the vigor? Armor, initiative, luck, vigor. The vigor of the skeleton and the target are summed and split equally. The target gains plus 10 damage until the end of the fight. Okay, so if it's nearly dead, and there's something with nearly full health, you use Strength of Mediocrity to save the skeleton. Okay, interesting. Now form your battle group. Remember the minion's position in the row alters their effectiveness in combat. So choose their positions carefully. After each battle, Eratas recovers mana, and any minions not currently in the main battle group recovers vigor. Okay. First. Okay, I can't make anything else. Parts are stored in the chest. Everything else is just kind of locked. All right. Mines, mercenary barracks, dwarven caverns, and then so on and so forth. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, you know, the poor skeleton. Conscripts, who look more like cultists, and a guard. Uh, yeah, we'll just do... Critical hit deals triple damage. Let's... 
set you on fire. And then... Uh... No. None of these guys have any buffs as of yet. So I don't want to use Smite the Show-Offs just yet. So, hit that. Astounding Fortitude. Stance is a special type of ability that some characters can use. When a character enters a stance, they will perform a certain action when a certain condition is met, as described in the ability itself. The stance lasts until the start of the character's next turn. It can be cancelled unless it is specifically mentioned in the text of the ability. So you target the character with an ability either that forces them to move or causes them to miss a turn. Okay. Defensive stance. Attacks moving enemies. Okay. So I don't want to move anybody just yet. So let's do a grape shot. That that was not a grape shot. Block is automatically used to nullify a single physical attack. These can stack. Hunter loses one counter block. Ward's automatically used to nullify a single magical attack, and armor constantly protects the defender. Every point of armor absorbs one point of damage and is not lost after doing so. Okay. I probably should have had her on Overwatch, but now I know. So, use Heart Piercer on him. <laughs> Fired actual grapes. Of course, that that's why he did no damage. Buff panic. Smite the show offs. Aw, oh, come on. Oh, because he's got exactly seven armor, of course. Well, the consoles don't have that much armor. They just have block. Okay. Get rid of some of that block. And let's get rid of one of your block. And you attack him. Aw, his buff is gone. I should have used the smite the show off. Damn it. Astounding Fortitude. He just keeps moving back. <laughs> Insanity Panic. Minus 30% accuracy, minus 30% chance to retreat. Very nice. Blow them to pieces. Death comes in loud. Hit him. I want him to stop fucking retreating like an asshole. <laughs> Seriously, that fucking guard is just not attacking. Another grape shot. That one has to die eventually. There we go. some fresh corpses. And you die. You ought to give something better than some fucking conscripts. Oh, and of course he ran away a with a minus thirty percent chance to run. But I can craft a Dark Knight now. Black Heart, uncommon item. Start combat in the fourth position, plus four attack until the end of combat, max eight. It is possible to strengthen your minions through the use of special items. All right. Plus 30 health, plus four attack, and start 
Oh, if I start combat in the fourth position, plus four attack until the end of combat. Nice. With every enemy slain in every battle won, Iratus regains more and more of his former power. Learn magic to make use of mana and obliterate your foes, or learn alchemy to manipulate the limited resources you have available. Deal 5 stress. Moves the selected player's unit one position forward. If the Bride of Eratus is moved, she gets plus 20% accuracy. All minions receive plus 5 initiative. The victim loses 25% of luck until the end of battle. If they escape from the battlefield, the player will have a vampire after the fight. Wow. Allows you to replace parts in a minion if both parts are the same type. Gives the ability to convert one type of resource to another. One higher quality resource from four identical base resources. Does not work with parts that are already of maximum quality. Ah, like the blood curse. I can't wait to that try this out. That just sounds better. Yeah, pretty much, Gray. That, uh... It infects them with vampirism, and if they escape from the battle, then they return to me as a vampire. Ooh, this will do nicely. It's it. It is both pretty fucking cool and pretty fucking cooked too. Um, I've got three of those. What is... I don't know what... Fine. Behold you know what? my work. I don't know what I just made, but okay. It's an item. So... Demonic Essence plus two dread. I don't know what dread does. Ah... It's their sanity damage. Okay, that would have been better on the skeletons, but oh well. Um. Oh, I see. Okay. Ah, I don't have the dust now. Oh well. Alright, well, to the quest. You, you watch the walls through the hollow sockets of your animated minions. Step by step, they shamble forth to bring ruin to this land. And for a brief moment, you see yourself as you were millennia ago, at the head of a vast army of death that stretched the horizon. Legions of dark night and spirits, platoons of ghouls headed by liches. In an instant, you recall it all and feel a smile creep upon your features. I have remembered! You gain new minion patterns. I learned how to make skeletons and zombies. Banshee, mummy, lich, headhunter, and shade. So we're just missing the bones. We're missing the heart and the blood. I want to make a dark knight. This just looks really cool. Stress attack, additional 25% stress damage for each debuff on the target. Nice. Each time an enemy receives buff, deals 100% stress damage to that enemy. Physical attack, deals damage to the target equal to triple the current armor of the Dark Knight, but he loses all armor. Restores figure equal to double his current armor. Target gets minus three of damage until the end of the fight. The dark, the dark Knight gains plus ten armor until the end of the fight. Nice. That's really cool, actually. This guy seems less about damage and more about stressing the enemy the fuck out.
Let us put a blood curse Crimson on the construct. Hunter. And then kill the con, and then kill the guard. Let's drive you insane, because that increases your chances of running away. Um, let's see, 60% damage for two attacks. It'll do slightly more damage than before, so yes. Definitely taking a lot of damage. Oh. The fuck just healed them. I don't I don't like that. Um I kinda wanna save my souls. But I also want to do a fuck ton of damage. Savor these there we last go. few heartbeats. You kill them. Flash, mind. chomp, crush, and I'll try to break kill the mind. bones. These guys are just really quickly losing all their sanity. Ooh, kill the miner. This one voided its bowels just as it died. One year off for every dead one I slice up. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, he can't use his dragon breath. Right, because that thing switched, uh, switched spaces with him. Fucking run away, conscript. Just run away. That's all I want you to do. Just run away. Good. More material. Yes! Ooh, I get a vampire. I, it would be this easy. I got a ton of items too, jeez. Gain artifacts to attain total dominance. There is no vampire here. Maybe it's specifically in that battle group. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Vampire conscripts are just equally shit conscripts. <laughs> um, let's take I sorrow. Saw my dark powers return to me. Did I get anything special? No. But, okay, what is this? Oh yeah, artifacts. The first spell that Aratus will use in fight will be free, after which the crystal will disappear. Okay, so that is a very special one-time use only. Let's make a dark knight. Hardly an inspiring leader, but the dead care not for morale. I still don't have enough to uh, to fill a second battle group, unfortunately. Restore full HP for the squad. That that's gonna be way more necessary. And that was the tutorial. Okay, let's go to Cakewalk. There should be more villain games. There really should. Okay. I've got three skills. Blood curse. I can't wait to try this out. Extraction. Uh sorrow. And so my dark powers return to me. And we can make a second battle group. And I'm definitely gonna do that. Every war needs its generals uh, let's make another bride oh honey you are so wonderfully rotten <laughs> I would say try not to be quite so creepy but this is a necromancer who's been dead for a while
The kingdom had need of the vast riches buried underneath the castle. Great veins of iron that promised to fuel conquest after conquest along with ancient artifacts from a long forgotten age. The dwarves were eager to offer their services in this project, bringing their untested mining equipment and experimental concoctions for the promise of wealth. They only needed bodies that could obey and that the humans could provide. With dungeons filled to the brim, both criminals and rebels, there was no shortage of slaves to work these mines. Drugs were used to keep them docile as they dug ever deeper year after year, unaware of the mortal danger that awaited them below. Okay, so there's a lot of battles up here. Holy shit, it just goes on. There's the boss squad. Sacrifice, altar, grave. Jeez, it just keeps going. That is awesome, though. I love it. Alright, first battle. A full fucking squad. Awesome. Uh, blood curse. No, don't, don't do that. Do I even have a soul yet? I don't want to waste that if I do. I probably could have set that up as Overwatch. That would have been a better idea. Nope, oh, so these guys are actually going to attack. Alright, about fucking time. <laughs> oh, keep your flattery to yourself, Hugh. You know you won't be saved from murder that easily. Wow, okay, so that one's gonna keep using guard stance. Awesome, awesome. Grape shot for everybody! Get rid of some of that block. Overwatch. Let's kill this guy. I don't know, Hugh. I haven't decided yet. I might just bring you back as a standard skeleton. Yes! Overwatch strikes again. I think that there's nothing under that armor. I think that it's just empty. Do Overwatch again, because I bet one of these fuckers is going to use their, uh, their guard stance, if not both of them. One after the other. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> Do you have anything that attacks more than one? Nope. Okay. Or completely miss. That's awesome, too. Set these guys on fire. Strike him, kill him. Worthless as you were in life, you will be worth something in death. I want to know who this voice actor is because I love him. He is amazing. And it's a it's a really good take on um, what is it uh, the fucking ancestor from uh, from Darkest Dungeon? S yeah, it's Stephen White, the uh, or wait the um, the voice actor, but I'm talking about the character's name. I don't remember what the character's name is. 
Let's just get rid of some of your accuracy, people. I'm really getting tired of you. Let's kill him. Isn't there something here? Additional 25% stress damage for each debuff on the target. Nah. Kill him. One by one, life vanishes from this world. <laughs> Good miss there, buddy. Set you on fire. Uh, let's set you on fire. Nice shot, sweetie. Kill, my darling. Kill. Uh, attack the show off. Right, you've got too much armor for that. I keep fucking forgetting that. This, I, I hope I get enough uh, stuff to make more undead for the next attack group, because that zombie really needs to heal. See, told you, Hugh, there's absolutely nothing under that armor. Search your heart, Hugh. You know it to be true. You're just gonna keep fucking pussying out, aren't you? 33% more damage taken, no armor, no blocks, no wards. Very nice. Thank you for missing. I don't think that zombie can take too many more hits. You will make sure you die. Pieces. Death comes in loud. You're gonna take some extra damage. And then we're gonna go. This is what a thousand years of evolution looks like? Yeah, <laughs> pathetic. Nice, very nice. Got quite a few things here. Pick a boon, ooh. Plus eight luck until the end of combat every two turns. Plus 15 dread. Or every turn while Vigor is at less than half, restore six mana to Eratus. Let's take the weapon. Skeleton. Do not use my super items on that. Hmm, humans become much sturdier when you strip them of their vital organs. That's a good question, actually. That is a very good question. 2% chance to kill when dealing stress damage. Yeah, sure. Whatever. They will be expecting cannon fodder, but I will give them cannons instead. Hold on. Once every two turns, plus 15 dread until the end of the turn. Hmm. Let me do this. Uh, I should replace parts in a minion Ooh, if the parts are of the same time, same nice type. Thing. There we go. Okay, plus 15 dread. I don't really use your, uh, any of those abilities for you, though, but you, you could use that. That makes him level three. All right, then. Start combat in the first position. Add 20% bonus damage to critical hits until the end of combat. No. Um, yes. 2% chance. Oh, no. You don't fucking use rags. Fuck. Who uses rags? No, I'm just going to have to equip that manually. No. No, I cannot. Okay. Well. Um... We can name the minions, Hugh. 
Nice. That's pretty cool. Can't make anything there. Yeah, it's time to send the next battle group out. That other battle group needs to heal. It's a steps a lot. <laughs> well... There you go. Sir stabs a lot is going to do a little less stabbing for the moment because he needs to heal. Let's do another combat. Hi, Taskmaster. You seem kind of important. You have a lot of stress health. All of these guys suddenly have a lot of stress health. Okay, Taskmaster, you need to die. You've got a lot of block, though. Conscript, we need to get you down as quickly as possible as well. He does some stress damage and then gives him more accuracy. Interesting. Uh, let's do smoke shot. Let's reduce everybody's Ooh, accuracy. There will still be enough left to reanimate. And then you focus on him. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Her debuff on the target. Okay, we're gonna do this. Block, of course. And then... Focus on the mountain. He's going to actually be at the front more. Oh, shit. Okay. That's not good. Okay, that guy needs to heal as quickly as fucking possible. Blow them to pieces! Death comes in loud! Rose for a lady, use a soul on nice shot, sweetie. Kill, my darling, kill! There was... Physical attack deals damage to the target equal to the triple of the current armor of the Dark Knight. Yep, this is going to be needed. I don't care about that fucking stance. He's going to get a bunch of armor anyway, so he'll survive. Oh, but now he's got the plus 15 dread. Fuck off. Um, no, we've got, we've got to do it this way. Oh, I see. He's gonna move something. Minus three damage. Armor absorbed. Excellent. More attacks. That's bad. He's given him a bunch of attack. Okay, yeah, you 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 need to die. You just need to die. You are gonna have to lose all of your armor. As worthless as you were in life, you will be worth something in death. Fuck off. Ah, oh, no, I did that wrong. Ah, oh, god damn it. He was supposed to heal according to his armor, but I did the damage according to his armor. Damn it! Okay, I fucked that up. Oh. 
There you go. What? Oh, it deals stress damage. Okay. That that wasn't Sir Stabs a lot. Or was it? No, that was Sir Stabs a lot. Yep. Oh well. More powder. Um... Yeah, I think Sir Stabs a lot is in the healing group. <laughs> yes, please. Keep moving around. Smoke shot, lots of insanity. Very nice, very nice. Mr. Skeleton is losing a lot of health as well. He's about to get away. So we'll put the blood curse on him. That's that's a good good call there, Hugh. He's got a high he's got a heightened escape chance, so you know, best to do it on him. If he ever actually runs away. Gotta love that this guy just keeps guarding. The taskmaster's like, go forward, attack, and he's like, nope. It's all you, buddy. One by one, life vanishes from this world. And they gain sanity because the Taskmaster died. Finish him off. There we go. More material. And he runs away. I didn't think it would. Give me a goddamn so vampire. Sad. Yep, vampire. Nice. Start combat in the first position. Extra action. Plus five attack until the end of combat. Once every two turns, plus two attack until the end of combat. I think. An extra action would be good. Vampire. The conscript suddenly turned female. Huh. Interesting. Uncommon blood plus one block. Every turn while vigor is below 30%, 4% chance to kill when dealing stress damage until end of combat. Every turn while vigor is below... Is greater than or is it below or greater than or equal to? Is I think it's below or equal to thirty percent plus fifteen vigor until the end of combat. What position do you need to be in? Target loses 33% of their current health, but receives 33% damage buff until the end of the fight. The vampire loses 10 vigor, ignores block and ward. Deals 100% magic damage. The but vampire loses 15 vigor, but restores 20 at the start of her next action. Restores vigor to the vampire in amount of 50% of the damage they got. Okay. I really wish 
I could give that to you, but apparently I can't. Okay. Here's how we're going to do this. The new Sir Stabs a lot is about to get, uh, is about to get a test. bonus damage to critical hits until the end of combat. I really don't want to give you that. Yeah, pretty much. As long as I don't fuck it up, you should be fine. Ah, I can't wait to try this out. Cost 2 MP, 2 MP, nice. Skeleton will clean up this mess later. Plus two initiative, not bad. Yeah, let's give you some. In no, actually, nope, can't take it off them now. Okay, so that is a uh, that is a permanent thing. Good to know. Right, quest. It seems you have stumbled across a guarded stash. Pack of humans is guarding what looks to be a makeshift shed built into a cave. Thus far, they have not noticed you, which means that it is entirely pos up to you if you wish to engage. Then again, what possible values could they have that interest you? The best they can likely offer is their cold, dead bodies. Still, you are curious. Let's attack them. A couple of miners and a couple of guards. Okay. <laughs> this, wait. Wait, 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 wait. This ain't the primary attack group. What the fuck is this? This... This is not the attack group that I formed. This is the super damaged we need to heal group. What the fuck just happened? No, I don't want to loot. I don't want to surrender. I want them to fucking run away. God fucking damn it. They just fucked me over on that. You know what? You know what? Oh, god damn it. Of course he does that to an ally. Fucking hate you. This was not the primary fucking battle group. That is why I switched them around. Your frail bodies fail. I am actually very mad about that. Death comes in loud.
shot, sweetie. Kill, my darling, kill! Thank you for missing both of those. And missing that one. And... Yep, dead. Might want to make them a bit sturdier next time. Just another. There we go. That's fine. That's going to be all for tonight anyway. I don't know. Once again, I don't know why the fuck that was. Because... Yeah, I don't... I don't understand. That was not the primary battle group. Did I accidentally press a button that I wasn't supposed to? Whatever it was, I lost all of those. Alright, that's fine. I'll do this. I'll do more of this demo another time. I want to get through an entire an entire run, but not tonight. So, uh, thank you guys for stopping by, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.